Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we are changing the Lego room. Everything that is behind my desk is changing. The Star Destroyer is finding a new home. The minifigures are leaving. The cabinet is leaving. The part bins are changing. And it's going to look a lot better and be a lot more uh, user friendly here for me when I am building mocks and everything like that. Uh, and I'm really excited to show you these changes and also make these changes. So I've been planning this for quite some time and the other day we went shopping at Walmart and I found these Sterilite drawers, which are just awesome. They come in sets of three. They retailed them at Walmart here in Canada for $20. I picked up 16 of them. So there's a few here and I have more upstairs. And those are going to replace this disaster here. Originally, I thought this was a good idea. I put these plastic totes from the Dollarama. I got them from a dollar store for looks like about two bucks each. And I put them underneath uh, the table here. The problem is, is when I go to find parts and pieces or if I need, I don't know, a fence element and a circular element, I pull those bins out. And I bring them over here and I dig through them and then I put the bin aside and then I put the bin aside and then eventually I'm just surrounded by bins like that. There's a bin there, there's bags there, there's cups over here, there's a big bin there, there's uh, a tray over here. So I got 16 of those Sterilite bins to hopefully reduce that problem. And I think it's going to be a lot better. Now what made me think of this idea or what made me collapse and break into doing this idea was when we were recently doing some part outs um, for BrickLink orders and for other projects and I was just absolutely overwhelmed by the amount of pieces and part bins that were all around me and in order to build mocks you need to be able to find the pieces efficiently and yes I have a lot of bins but we're about to have a lot more. I've got some working space now and I've got to think about where I'm going to move the Star Destroyer temporarily. This is not going to be permanent. The only open space that I have right now is actually right here on the pack system or down there on the pack system. It's a little bit dangerous down there. That's a little bit crazy. Um, it will fit in a pack system. However, the nose of it will come out. So I'm scared if I have it down there, I'll bump into it. I'm scared if I have it there, I'll clip into it and send it crashing as well. Uh, this is going to be very temporary. I'm not sure about the final placement. I have a few ideas in mind that I will let you know in this video. But for right now, I've just got to get it off this unit here so that we can then move those base plates full of minifig trays and I can take all of this stuff out of this uh, IKEA cabinet. <laughs> I'm just so scared of moving this star destroyer it's the worst well actually the worst thing to move is the millennium falcon but the star star destroyer is uh, pretty bad as well i just pulled the 2020 advent calendar star wars harry potter and city uh, that sit on these base plates out of the window and i'm gonna put this all in just to one big bag i don't know what to do with this stuff the minifigure is great i don't know what to do with the mini builds Got our uh, Big Ben up on the uh, Ninjago platform there. And one of our large pack shelves cleared. And now we're ready to move the Star Destroyer. This will be a challenge, always is. So essentially at this point, just be careful when you walk by there. The nose is coming off the shelf. You know what, it actually doesn't really look too bad on a pack shelf. It definitely could work. However, I would have to put it on the top and probably just poking out over top of my desk so that I don't bump into it when I go by because right there it's dangerous. Any one of these other shelves uh, will be dangerous. The only position in which it could be is like right here uh, above the Millennium Falcon. But that means I'd have to move Hogwarts and the Tower of Orthanc and stuff like that. Uh, and also we have a new set that we have to add to the pack shelves and we will be adding the Coliseum soon and also the Coliseum alt build. Right now I have one open shelf. It's down here on the bottom. It actually looks like that shelf would fit the Star Destroyer. Obviously I don't want to put it there because it's way down on the bottom. 
then I've got to figure out a way to reconfigure all of this here to better accommodate the Star Destroyer. Or I have another plan for it, which I might execute in the near future. But for now, I have to try and figure this out. I don't think that's today's problem. I just got to be cautious as I walk by. I stood on a roller chair to get it down. Probably wouldn't advise that. But now I'm going to work on our part inventory over here. We got the uh, Calax unit from Ikea emptied up there. It's going to be going to a new home. We're going to be getting rid of that. We've got our Bella bins here. I got these from Canadian Tire. They got the latch. They're good. They stack on top of one another. Definitely not going to throw these away. We're going to keep these in our uh, to store our part inventory. But they'll no longer be hosted in a unit. I don't think they create these anymore. I think this company is maybe under. I don't know. I don't know if they still make these, but I haven't seen them in a long time. Glad to be replacing them or getting more uh, Sterilite ones, which will integrate nicely with these. The shelf's removed and it's looking pretty clear there. Ready for some new bins. Can you believe it? All of the Bella bins that we had in that cabinet fit in two stacks right there. So much better. And of course, we had all the mini bins too, the Dollarama bins, but those will probably go along the top here. I placed the Sterilite bins here. They look really good. I don't plan on having them that tall. The bell bins look good there too, and sort of these, but it's inconsistent and it's really bothering me. So what I'm going to do is see if I can fit five stacks of the Sterilite bins, one, two, three, four, five, from wall to desk, and see if I can replace all of my existing bins with Sterilite bins and then sell these on Kijiji for a heavily discounted price, which is a local classifieds. After playing Tetris with Lego bins, I've decided that I need to get 12 more Sterilites to make it work. I can't fit Sterilites wall to wall because they're actually a little bit wider, wider so I've got to put uh, one row of the bells, but they look good in the corner there. The color's consistent, so it looks good. So we went to Walmart and we were only able to find two more of these Sterilite drawer systems. Uh, so it looks like we have uh, three towers with six systems in each tower three drawers per system so there's 54 drawers in that block there which is pretty perfect actually it worked out good i'm glad that the city ran out because i actually checked online and there's no more available at any walmart and it worked out for the better and i'll show you why so now we got our sterilite drawers there and i actually really like the bella drawers they work perfectly they go a little bit tall but it's okay i kept the white Sterilite drawer with the larger drawers on the bottom there just because sometimes you have a lot of pieces and uh, You need some bulk storage. So that's really gonna work out well there I got rid of the other ones and I've decided that I won't be getting rid of those because those are gonna help me store like train track and Stuff like that and help me clean up the mess over there. So down over there There's gonna be drawers as well, which is quite nice Also, I'm not gonna get rid of the silly heads is the silly heads are gonna store all my bulk Brick builders, my two by bricks, two by two, two by three, two by four, two by six, two by eight, stuff like that. And then I'll just mark on the exterior saying what brick type is in the silly head. I'll also store away random stuff in there, like that's odd shaped dark or light bluish gray plates. I don't need that. So I'll continue to do that as well. Now, the reason why I think it worked out even better like this is because it actually left a little bit of a space right here. A lot of us would think, well, that's a little bit weird, but look at this. My Mastercraft units now fit perfectly right here on the edge of my desk, and we have two uh, stacked on top of one another uh, times two, so there's four of those units. That's all our smaller drawers, and we got some bigger drawers in the bottom. Then on this side here, I've got all my drawers from the dollar store from Dollarama, and they're gonna be easily accessible as my chair's right here. I can wheel over there and grab whatever I need, and it looks fantastic. There might not be a Star Destroyer in the part bin area, but wow, this looks so much better. <laughs> Essentially, all of my parts now are going to be at arm's reach. The only ones that aren't sorted yet, well, somewhat, they're still got tiles by color and whatnot. These ones here have to be reworked, and these ones here have to be reworked a little bit as well. But all of these are all now sorted. So we've got white miscellaneous, plate, brick, panel, large plate, 
tan large plate. I just bought these on the finger brick wall together. They're, they're uh, the ingots and the snot bricks. Brick, plate, miscellaneous. Same with reddish brown, black, uh, dark bluish gray or dark stone gray, light bluish gray. And we have all of our windows and glass elements down here, all sorted by type. And we have circular elements, snot bricks, brackets, slopes, got a lot of slopes, inverted slopes, one by ones, one by one uh, circulars, studs, uh, one by one circular tile. Over here, hey, an open bin. Forgot about that. So we got cylinders, one by two, cheese wedge, burps and burps, plants, bamboo, a lot of bamboo, fence elements. And then here we start with the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Down here we got some random Technic, some plates that have to be sorted yet and a bunch of stuff down here that's just miscellaneous at the bottom. Tires, train trusses, stuff like that. Actually, the majority of the silly heads are actually empty up here. Um, I plan on putting all my uh, two buys in there and then I'll mark them. White, green, red, blue. All of my two buys are currently in a large bin over there because we're building the wall, but once the wall's done, I'm gonna change all these so they're full of brick that rarely gets used. And they'll be easy to find because they'll be labeled and they'll be on the silly heads or in the silly heads. And I think they look pretty silly up there. All these bins are now empty. And check this out with the remaining bins that I was thinking of getting rid of. Flex track, curve track, straight track, switch track, switch, empty bin, Duplo. And then all the plates on top, including road, blue, and green. And some additional stuff there. Tomorrow I'll be revising all of these shelving units here. I've got a good plan. I actually like the Star Destroyer where it is. It's just got to be put to the top right here so that it comes out that way there. This is going to be so much better when we go to build mocks in the future. Everything is now available in one spot. And I can just wheel around and get parts as we get it or as we need them. And as we go through and we sort more, I would plan on taking all these miscellaneous pieces and sorting them better. Like this should go with all of these. So uh, wheel wells in all colors should be together in a bin, etc. This should go with the merps and burps. These should go with the circulars. So I can definitely go through here and refine this a lot more. And once I do that, I'll use the available space of these and these to better catalog our part inventory. I hope you guys like the changes here in the Lego room. I am absolutely thrilled by them. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.